feel all right now. I find myself uh, in the, very firmly in the middle class. Absolutely feel fine with my life. And it only gets difficult when I see my brother, when I speak to my brother, because my brother is very proudly working class. You know, he's a plumber, he's a white van man, and he's two up, two down with his wife and his two kids. He lives in South Manchester. And he looks down at me. If I'm honest with you, he looks down at me. Because what I do, all this to him, is not a proper job. It's not a full day's work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, he likes coming on holiday with us. <laughs> oh, it's a proper job that week, yeah. But the rest of the year, he looks down his nose at me because this is not a full day's work. It is not a proper job, you know? And sometimes I ring him after my show, you know, speak a few times a week. I ring him up. All right, mate. All right, mate. Yeah, what have you been up to? Oh, I just done a gig. I was filming the, the show. Like, oh, nice. What was that like? Yeah, well, well, great audience, great venue. Enjoyed it, yeah. How's the tour going? And in that moment, I just forget that I'm not talking to somebody who loves me unconditionally. <laughs> and I'll be honest with him for a second, you know, I'll say, yeah, it's gone well, you know, I'm, I'm a bit tired now. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the word comes out of my mouth, I can hear him seething at the other end of the phone, oh, yeah, no, you must be knackered, mate, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't know how you manage all that talking for two hours a night. You must be shattered, pal, shattered! <laughs> oh, don't worry about me, no, I've had my arms stuck with you, Ben, for 12 hours. But no, no. <laughs> you're the tired one, aren't you? Of course, you're, yeah, you're the tired one. Why don't you pop round here tomorrow and make your brew, give your foot rub? You deserve it, lad, you deserve it. <laughs> really? No, not really. Have a barocca and a buggy word with yourself, you show me stop it! <laughs> In our family, I don't know what yours is like, but in ours, unless you are the most tired, <laughs> you are not tired at all. <laughs> There's no second place tiredness. It's like top tired and not tired, isn't it? It's like tiredness top trumps every time you see each other. You all right? Yeah, I'm a bit tired. Well, I see you're tired, and I raise you my tired. <laughs> Comedian tired can't beat plumber tired. I'm thinking of pitching it as like a, a game show. I reckon this could be a good Saturday night BBC One game show called Top Tired and Not Tired. Right? <laughs> it's like your old play your cards right, but it's just with people and our attitudes to their jobs. <laughs> Do you want a quick game of Top Tired and Not Tired? Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's higher or lower. So if you think someone is, uh, is going to be more tired than me, you'll shout higher. And if you think they're going to be less tired than me or the person before them, you'll shout lower. It's very, very simple. So we're going to start. We'll start with you, sir. What's your name? Lee. Lee. Hello, Lee. Where are you from? Stockport. Stockport. Lovely stuff. OK. Lee, you've done very well here because you're the first card out of the deck. You're the one after the comedian. The comedian is the lowest card, so it can only be higher. We're just doing it as a tester, really. Give us a cheer. Let me know what you think. Do you think Lee's job is higher or lower than a comedian? Higher. Higher. Of course it is. Lee, what do you do for a living? Office manager. An office manager. <laughs> wow. Well, this is unprecedentedly. <laughs> In 250 shows, it's never been lower than a comedian, but. <laughs> An office manager. We'll say you we'll say you one card up because it's we'll, we'll just be nice. Okay, so one card up. <laughs> Madam, what's your name? Sandra. Sandra here. Do we think Sandra is higher or lower than an office manager? Higher. Higher, of course. Sandra, what do you do for a living? Medical receptionist. Medical receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor's gatekeeper. <laughs> Can I get an appointment? <coughs> Can I get an appointment? You shall not pass! <laughs> you shall not pass. It's a good job for the nosy, isn't it? <laughs> Can I ask what's wrong with you? Well, I'd rather just speak to the doctor about it. You need to tell me first. <laughs> do I though? Do I? OK, certainly it's going to be difficult, you're working with ill people, so we're definitely going to go higher for you, Sandra. Uh, sir, what's your name? Huey. OK, Huey, higher or lower than a medical receptionist? Higher! Higher again, we think. OK, Huey, what do you do? I manage a fire protection department. You manage a fire, fire protection department. 
He's done one of them where he's made his job sound well important. <laughs> when we get to the bones of this job, he's in charge of a bucket. <laughs> I've got my bucket, lads! I'm managing this department! <laughs> Sounds dangerous. We're going to go a little bit higher, OK? Absolutely. Sir, what's your name? Will. 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 Higher or lower? What do we think? Higher or lower? Higher. Higher. Will, what do you do? Work for Mercedes-Benz. You work for Mercedes-Benz? Ooh! What do you do for Mercedes-Benz, Will? Work in the call centre. In the call centre. <laughs> <laughs> you really bigged it up, though, didn't you? <laughs> Hello, Mercedes-Benz. Will speaking. How can I help you? <laughs> I've just been driving my Mercedes and there's like a ticking noise going on. I don't know what I've pressed. That's the indicator, dickhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might have just discovered it by accident, pal. <laughs> Throw a round of applause for our front row. <laughs> I've got the two five-year-olds, they're great. I've got this other daughter, that's what I call her. 